Hi there. Today I'm going to share the 10 plus symptoms that may indicate you are dealing with hormonal acne plus action steps that you can take to start to clear hormonal acne, cystic acne along your jawline that clients in the clear code program use every day to begin to heal these issues without Accutane, birth control, all the crazy harsh chemicals, pills, all the creams, all the things, because once you see that you can clear your acne without something like Accutane, you are gonna be so inspired to take action and I can't wait to support you. So let's go. Hi there, my name is Jill Therese and I struggled with really bad acne for 15 years. I finally cleared it naturally and it is my mission to help you clear your skin naturally without harsh chemicals, pills, and or creams. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Before we start, I want to make sure you know that my Root Acne Triggers Masterclass free is still available for you to sign up. In that masterclass, I share the seven biggest root acne triggers along with nine action steps that you can take to start to heal your acne naturally. So stay until the end for the link to that, okay? So knowing if you're dealing with hormonal acne or acne rosacea or malassezia folliculitis, Knowing the root cause of your acne issues is everything. Agree? Type yes below if you agree, give me a thumbs up. Because once you know why you're breaking out, everything changes. So let's go over some symptoms of hormonal acne. We're gonna do a little Q&A sesh, okay? Okay. So what I want you to do, this is super simple and ridiculous, but super simple. I want you to count, as I'm going through the following items, on your hands. Ooh, they look very big. On your hands, count how many of the following questions you answer yes to. Okay, so I'm gonna read out conditions, symptoms, things, and I want you to just use your little fingers and count, okay? You ready? Let go. Here are some of the signs and symptoms of hormonal acne, and I want you to count how many you can say yes to, okay? So number one, you have jawline acne, chin acne or cystic acne under your jawbone. You deal with chronic constipation. Note, I didn't say diarrhea, I said constipation. You get breakouts mid-cycle, so about 15, 14 days after your period, or you get breakouts right before your period, so about two to three days pre-period. You've taken the birth control pill. You got your period before the age of 11. You have a crazy sweet tooth. You have a super short cycle, as in your period's kind of off you have less than 21 days a cycle, or you go longer than 31 days between periods. You miss periods some months altogether. You have really bad PMS in some form. So for example, maybe your mood kind of goes off a cliff or you have really bad cravings or you get bloated and or swollen, or maybe your boobs get really big pre-period, right? It sounds great, but it's not. You have a really inconsistent life work schedule and that like you're sleeping, you're eating, your, you know, all your routines are kind of inconsistent. You have a history or diagnosis of PCOS, which is just a constellation of symptoms. I have a video below on this, check that out. But you have been diagnosed technically with PCOS. So boo, how many fingers did you get? I just shared 13 symptoms. If you answered yes to five or more of those symptoms, I would say you're probably dealing with a little bit of hormonal acne. If you answered yes to 10 or more of those symptoms, I would eat my hat if you're not dealing with hormonal acne. I would eat my hat. So before you get upset and think that hormones are ruining your life and that all the things are bad, let's talk about this a little bit more, okay? This is one of the things we focus on in the Clear Code, my acne clearing program. Figuring out why these hormones are potentially a little disrupted or out of balance is the key because hormones are freaking awesome, okay? Everyone has hormones like progesterone, estrogen, testosterone. We all have those throughout our body, men and women, just in varying levels. For men, these hormonal levels are a little bit more constant throughout a month, whereas for women, things go up and down. Hormonal acne is really about pores, oil, and hormonal fluctuations, okay? Let's talk about it more. Like I just mentioned, we all have varying levels of big, big 
hormones like progesterone, estrogen, testosterone in our bodies at all times. They rise and fall depending on the time of the month, especially for women, our exercise levels, if you're you know, go, trying to get pregnant or if you recently are breastfeeding, right? Your hormones change a ton, especially as a woman. And you will see, often see that reflected in your skin. So that's the hormone equation. Now let's talk about pores. We all have pores all over our body, right? And these pores form sebaceous glands. So it, via a sebaceous gland, I'm gonna talk more about this in a second, give you a science -y stuff. But basically within a sebaceous gland, you have you know, it's made up of a pore as well as a hair follicle. And we all have a lot of those here. Think about why men grow beards, why women, you know, we all have a ton of sebaceous glands here on our head, more here along our jawline, right? You don't grow hair here as much. So we have a high concentration of sebaceous glands here along our jawline, around our mouth and chin. And here's why this is important. Sebaceous glands are usually found in association with a hair follicle, which together is referred to as a pilosebaceous unit. These pilosebaceous units are incredibly sensitive to hormonal fluctuations which impact sebum levels, AKA oil. So what that means is our hormones, fluctuating levels of hormones, impact the amount of oil we have at the pore level which then impacts kind of setting the stage for an acne breakout. So if you answered, for example, yes, to the fact that you get a lot of breakouts mid-cycle or pre-period, that's most likely because you're having these big hormonal shifts that is causing an increase in oil, which then is a contributing factor to an acne breakout. So basically, hormone changes equals oil changes equals sebaceous gland impact equals more oil equals higher incidence of breakouts. You just don't know. So what can you do if you know you're dealing with hormonal acne? The first thing I would do if I were you and you're a woman is to begin to track your cycle with an app like Flow or Clue. Here's why, I can't tell you how many clients come to me in the Clear Code program and they aren't even sure when the last time they got their period was. They don't know when to expect it next. And then as a result, because you don't know these details about your body, which isn't your fault, like none of us are taught this information, which is why I exist and why I love to exist because I wanna empower you with knowledge that I never had about my body, mind, and soul. But the more you know about your cycle, about when you're getting your period, about how long it lasts, the more information you're armed with to begin to heal your acne naturally. So for example, let's say you start to chart your cycle. This is just one example. Don't think this is you. <laughs> Message me below if you want more help or join my pro or apply to my program, The Clear Code. But I'm gonna use a little example here. Let's say you notice after tracking your cycle for a full 30 to 40 days that you get your period every 20 days. That's a rather short hormonal cycle for a woman. Ideally, you want it to be 21 days, between 21 days and 35 days. If you're getting your period every 20 days, that could mean that you're dealing with some low progesterone. As a result, a good supplement to check out, and I have a few videos on hormonal acne supplements, could be chasteberry, Vitex agnus costus, right? It's an herb that supports via chemical pathways an increase in progesterone which could help elongate your cycle a little bit more. So make your luteal phase, the kind of time right before you get your period, a little bit longer. And then as a result, your skin may clear. And all of that, right? So, so just by tracking your cycle, you may be able to add in a supplement that truly supports you. And then as a result, get clear skin from that. So knowledge is power. Okay. The second thing that I would do is begin to focus on a lower glycemic diet. Notice I did not tell you to not eat cookies or never touch sugar or not eat bread. I think the internet gets very intense about this stuff. And I really want you to know that you can have a cookie. I don't have any cookies in my house right now, but only because I eat them all. But I eat a chocolate chip cookie every now and then and my skin is still clear. One cookie, one brownie will not an issue make. But if you're eating a really high glycemic over time, definitely can negatively impact your skin. The link between acne and sugar is significant. It's intense. 
and it's important to me that you know know about it because once you're empowered with the knowledge you can take action so here's what you need to know here are some terms you need to know when it comes to sugar in your acne glucose glycemic response insulin insulin growth factor one insulin is the facilitator of the entry of glucose into cells for both energy and storage and therefore it helps to lower glucose levels in your blood it helps your body use the sugar you eat and that being said, the capacity of each food to produce a rise in, in, in gl blood glucose is measured as a glycemic response. So for example, eating a teaspoon of pure sugar will cause a super fast rise in blood sugar. So the glycemic index, the GI of sugar is 100, whereas water is zero because it has zero sugar. Every food kind of falls in the middle somewhere of this. So there will be an Oreo with a high glycemic index, whereas broccoli has a low glycemic index, right? So eating Oreos eats leads to more glucose in the blood, which leads to higher levels of insulin in the blood. So how does this relate to your acne? Androgen receptor receptivity is directly triggered by insulin. So basically, higher blood sugar levels equals higher levels of insulin, equals an opening of the androgen receptor, which forces it to become receptive to androgenic molecules, which then results in kind of a cascade of acne. So what does this mean for you in terms of sugar? Try to eat a low glycemic diet. That really means watch how much artificial sugar you are routinely consuming. I would imagine it's more than you think. Try to grab healthy fats with every meal as well. So I'll add in avocados or extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil or coconut milk. I'll try to add in healthy fats to any type of snacks as well to blunt the blood sugar rise that can come when you're eating a ton of artificial sugar. I personally avoid having really, really simple carbs like, you know, a blueberry muffin from Starbucks or Oreos or something like that on a really empty stomach. It just causes a huge spike in blood sugar and it will probably make your stomach hurt. Now the third action step I would take if I were you and I was dealing with hormonal acne is that I would register for my root acne triggers free masterclass. You can find the link for it below. In this Root Triggers Masterclass, I share these seven main causes for hormonal acne and just acne in general. I share nine action steps you can take and a few more details about how to work with me to heal your acne naturally. I really want to support you if you're dealing with really significant or severe hormonal acne and you've been offered Accutane birth control or even antibiotics and you are wondering, because you're here on this side of the internet, if there's an alternative available for you, there is, and I would love to support you. So sign up for that Root Triggers Masterclass. Let me know how it goes and maybe register for a call to apply to see if the clear code would be a good fit for you. So was this video helpful? I really hope so. What questions though, that being said, do you still have about hormonal acne? I read all of your comments and I want to help you from a hormonal acne perspective. So leave me comments below about what you still have questions about from a hormonal acne perspective and I may make a video on it. Also, if you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new one because I would love to share more natural acne healing tips with you and or send this to a friend if you feel like you know someone who's dealing with acne and they need support send this over to them because I would love to help them. Okay, see you next time.